Hey guys, so today for you, I have a decluttering my makeup collection video. There's a lot of stuff I threw away. Um, I organized some stuff. You get to look into my drawers, which you don't really see very often on my channel because they get a little bit hectic. Also, you guys, I did film this makeup look, so if you are interested in what's on my face, um, I will link the video down below because I did film this look. So if you guys want to see like the behind the scenes, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so this is going to be a little bit more vlog style. I was actually watching videos on my phone, but this is the current state of my makeup desk. And it's already better than it was. I've already put a lot away, but I figured we could declutter some stuff together because like my drawers are very full and I have old makeup here that needs to go. Um, so I want to show you guys why I'm decluttering stuff. I've never done a video like this on my channel but I think it's a video worth doing. So here are all of my foundations. Uh, a lot of them are repeats because I love like the same products over and over but like who doesn't. This is not foundation but it has to go. This is the LA Girl Fine Line Long Lasting Fine Tip Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Dark Brown. This is just, like, not giving, okay? Like, it is not dark brown. Like, it is so sheer that whenever I've used this, I've had to, like, mix it in with brow powder. Like, I can do my initial shape with this. But it doesn't give, like, even though it has a very fine tip, it just doesn't give, like, snatched. I mean, I just feel like it's so minimal. So, this is just not for me, especially with my dark features. So, I'm going to just declutter this. Um, another thing, I'm not probably going to get rid of too much, but I just know there are some things that need to go. So, this is the Superstay, like, foundation stick. This is in the, one, the shade 130 Buff Beige. I love the Superstay, like, original foundation. Even the Active Wear one is good that they came out with. I haven't heard great, thing up, great things about the concealer, but this is, like... You can see I've used quite a bit of it, like, on the side profile. First of all, it came with such little product. Like, that is it. Like, it just came up to here when I got it. So, like, it came with very little product, which is why I was able to use it as much. And then for a while, I was using it to clean up under the brows. But this is just not a product I reach for. It's just taking up space. And it's probably expired because I, I don't like it, you know? So it's just been, like, sitting here collecting dust. So that's got to go. I want to try this out. I've only tried it, like, one time. So I want to, like, move it upwards in the rotation of makeup. So this was a really good foundation. I really liked it at the time. Um, super, super affordable. I'm pretty sure they still make this, but this is the LA Colors Truly Matte. Um, this is like, like it's not even pumping out, but it's basically the equivalent of something like this formula with the Super Stay, where it's like really thick and matte. Um, gives very similar vibes. This one's a little bit more pricey, but I like this one so much more. And first of all, I'm pretty sure this is also expired, so I'm not gonna let it just, like I said, collect dust. It's gotta go. I like this enough to keep it. I don't use it too often, but I will say this is just like a, a blush stick. I like the e.l.f. blush, sorry, this is the ColourPop. I like the ColourPop blush sticks more. This one's in the shade 25.8. And this one is just like for like very, very minimal makeup days. This one I could actually wear with makeup because it's more pigmented. Um, and I like that it's matte. Um, but I'm going to keep this a little while longer, see if I use it at all this summer. And if not, I'll declutter it. Oh, I love this. I want to try to use this some more this summer. So I'm just like reorganizing my, my stuff to let all my products be seen. I'm totally getting rid of this Morphe foundation. So I didn't love this like right off the bat, but then I kept it. I should have totally returned it to Ulta, but this is the like fluidity foundation and I'm pretty sure they've changed it, but like look at that. That is, it came out like liquidy. So yeah, that's gross. Ew, I, this is just gross. Bye. And it smells, it always has smelled weird. I always had a weird smell to it. So, okay, if nothing else, that's good. Um, I'm 50-50 on decluttering. This is the I Am Magic Foundation. I could just like not find my shade in this when I went to get it. I do do makeup on clients, so I might keep it because it is like a really nice full coverage. And also if I get like nice and tan, like it like it blending into my skin really well. I feel like I could also use this as a body foundation just because it's so matte and like doesn't really like transfer very much, but like I feel like it matches my skin pretty well. So I'm gonna hang on to this. Um, and I have a bunch of these ELF's Camo CC Creams. Because I love it. I have backups. I've used so much of this. I recently got it and I love it. This is the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Serum. I, f I really liked this. I like mixing it in with other more full coverage foundations um, to give it a more sheer, dewy look. I really like this. A lot. Oh, this has got to go. I just saw this. I'm so glad I'm doing this and I'm doing it with you guys on camera and it's giving me the motivation to get rid of stuff. So this is another shade of that LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. Probably so expired. 
this guy, um, I tried to use it as much as I could. The shade I have is F7. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. I don't know why my camera is having so much trouble focusing. I'm sorry about that. But um, this is the shade F7, um, and it is the Rigor Revolution Conceal and Define. It has like this big doe foot applicator. In theory, I like it, but... First of all, this shade is just not great. Um, for me, it has like too much of a pinky undertone, and I notice that with a lot of Makeup Revolution products. They always have like this pinky, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, it has like a pinky tone. So, that doesn't work for me. My skin has like a very olive -y complexion, as you can see. It was a good foundation, but not good enough to be like, oh my god, this is a favorite. So I'm gonna get rid of this because I never reach for it. And I really just want to make space for the products that I do love. I love this foundation. It is the Flawless in Real Life by Sharon C. You can get this at Walmart for $15. I want to go pick up a lighter shade because I'm pretty pale right now, but I love it so much. So I want to put it at the forefront of my makeup to see if I don't use it. That's fine because I really love it. Fenty Beauty, love her. Putting all my CC camo creams back there. Okay, I feel like this looks a lot better already. I'm so excited about that. So all the foundations are decluttered. I need to go through these concealers. Most of these are good. Okay, that's going to go... I don't even know what this is. Ooh, that does not look good. Do you guys see this discoloration of this Kylie product? I got this on sale, but like, none of my other concealers that I've had at the same amount of time are doing that. Mm, it looks like it's applying fine. Maybe there's just some separation. I'll hang on to it just a little longer and see. I did like that when I used it. So. Okay, so these are the things I'm decluttering from this drawer right here, which is like concealers and such. This is the Morphe concealer. Again, has like a super pink hue to it. I think I mentioned that with the other Morphe foundation. This is just not great. Um, I'll swatch it for you guys. I bet like it would be okay for me to use on like a client or something, but I like the e.l.f. camo ones more. I think they perform better uh, and they don't have this weird pinky tint. I don't love this, so that's going. Um, this Wonder Stick is probably so old, it's not even funny, um, but it's the NYX Wonder Stick. I never used the highlight side, like, maybe, but, like, one time. Goodbye to that. Um, I feel like right now I would use this, because I've been loving, like, cream bronzers. Like, I love my Milk Makeup Stick, and it's kind of the same vibe. But, um, it's probably so expired, and I use this way more. I gravitate toward the Milk Makeup one. Um, another Makeup Revolution product. Oh, this is a stick foundation. Literally forgot I had this. So I pulled it out and I was like, I don't know what that is. This one doesn't have as much of a pinky hue as the other Makeup Revolution products. Um, and it's actually really creamy. Um, let me just try blending it out with my finger. It is really full coverage. But, like, I literally didn't know I had it. And I'm not reaching for it. And I prefer liquid foundations a hundred times over cream. And this, you guys. This is, like, such an oldie but a goodie, but... Mine's old, and I just don't reach for it ever, because I, if I'm going to wear makeup, I'm going to wear probably full coverage. Um, or, like, I reach for, like, my creamy e.l.f. concealer, you know? So, this is gold. Um, literally, I don't think, yeah, I never even opened this one. But this is another Makeup Revolution product that, I, I think I had it in a different shade. Like, I have already used one of these up, and, like, forced myself to use it, because I bought two, because they were on sale. Um, this is the shade C3. So pale, so so pink when you put it on the skin it oxidizes really bad so I'm not even gonna like stress about it and it's leaving goodbye we're done I'm gonna get through my primers really quick I'm pretty sure all my primers I like and I want to keep because I've decluttered this drawer like most recently oh actually that's a lie I'm gonna get rid of this this is the elf lit from within primer it's just like really feels like a lotion it's not that it's bad it's just that like, I have so much better primers now that I would never reach for this. But it just feels like a really thick, kind of moisturizing product that kind of, like, smooths and blurs out the skin a little bit. It does feel really nice when I'm applying it even now. But I, it does have a bit of a scent that, like, is kind of freaking me out. And I'm pretty sure that's because it's expired. So, because it did not used to smell like that. But the texture still feels really nice. Um, so this is from Haley's Beauty. Um, I liked this. It's just a blur ring primer, but I use the putty primers so much more and like honestly this just looks gross like that's not for me that's not my journey and it's really hard to this packaging they've changed the packaging now so Haley's Beauty has like redone this and fixed their formula and stuff this is the refined primer foundation primer I want to get the new one from them and maybe a foundation or something to test stuff out but like look how hard it is to squeeze this out like it would make more sense for this to have been a wand or something like I literally can't even no 
Goodbye. Oh, I have a Smashbox primer oil. I'm gonna put that up here. I'm gonna put like on my little testers up here so I can actually try them out. I don't want to keep this, but I feel like it's not expired yet, so I should. I don't know, maybe I'll just try it out before I get rid of it. This is the e.l.f. Plus Matte Oil Control Primer, but it really just feels like a silicone-y primer. Like, I applied it to my skin, it's completely clear. But I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna start putting the products back in the drawer and see what I decide to keep. And like what all fits because but you guys can see like I'm such a creature of habit when I love something I literally buy two of them this is basically the same thing as like the elf power grip or the elf jelly pop primer like it's that these are all the same like consistency they do the same thing I'm really trying to finish this elf one so that I can like clear it out this one is great for summer. It kind of feels like those, but it's got a more creamy base. Uh, this is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Mattifying Primer with Sunscreen. SPF 50. This is great for summer. I love this product so much. I love products that incorporate SPF, like, so that I can add it on top of my products. I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Smooth. I actually do like this. Um, it feels similar to this product, but this one is more sticky, like, a lot more sticky, but, like, it looks similar. Um, and it does mattify the skin, but it's just, it's literally just a blur and smooth. And really what I need is something that is going to make my makeup last a lot longer. And I've had this for a while, so probably expired as well. I was, like, ride or die for this product, you guys. This is the One Heck of a Blot by Soap and Glory. Um, and it's supposed to just, like, again, blur out your pores. It's kind of the same thing as the one we were just looking at. Um... Shine block. Anything that said shine block there for a minute, I was obsessed with. But I feel like this is a better version of both of these primers. Again, this one's probably also expired. I remember using this on my wedding day, and I feel like for that reason, like I just couldn't get rid of it because it became nostalgic for me. But she's got to go. So I think I'm also gonna get rid of this because now that I'm like thinking about it, I'm probably never gonna use it. And then I love this. This is like some primer drops with niacinamide in it. This is from Makeup Revolution, and it's like so great to put around my nose and like my oily spots. So I'm gonna totally keep that. I just got it. Love that. Okay, this empty bottle of primer or setting spray. Why do I still have it? Okay, you guys, so this is the drawer right below it. This has some lip products. I keep all my lip glosses over here, and I have a section in a different area that has lips, liquid lipsticks and stuff, but this is everything that doesn't fit there and is also still a lipstick. This is a collection that's a little bit overwhelming. I also moved two of these powders that I don't use as much down here to free up some space here. Let's dive in. I feel like this area gets overlooked so often that I forget what I have. So let's jump into it. Um, first, we're gonna start with this Color Tattoo Maybelline Eye Chrome. This is probably so dried out. Yeah, goodbye. Here's another one in a green color. This one's a little newer. Oh, this one's okay, actually. I remember getting this one not that long, that long ago. I'll hang on to it for now. This should be fine. This is an Essence Melted Chrome Eyeliner. Um, and it's just like a little thin eyeliner. This should be... Yeah, that's good. That little baby swatch I did right there. So, this is fine. This is a glitter liner by Profusion. It just looked really watery when I swatched it there, so I tried mixing it up. The formula just, look how liquidy. Like, I, I just already did this one, and it was still liquidy. So I'm like, this is one of those products I'm, I worry won't ever dry, even though I have it on the skin. Like, and then, let's see, just, let's just see how long this little swatch over here takes to dry. I'm going to set that aside for now. I love this, but I need to get a new one. This is the e.l.f. Um, like little chrome guys. This is in the shade Flirty Birdie. Mine is so dried out. Like, it is applying nicely here, but like, it's just kind of crusty. I feel like products like this dry out pretty easily. This one is from Ciate. This one looks good. This one is pretty new. I'm also just unpacking my makeup bag as we do this, so... I just opened another random drawer, you guys, and found this NYX concealer pot. Um, and I'm gonna get rid of this because I never use it, and it's a waste of space. Okay, so let's check on this now. If it has not dried yet, okay, it's still tacky. I feel like I would blink a lot. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm definitely gonna have glitter everywhere for a while, but that's fine. I have so many lippies to put away because I... Did a wedding recently and so I just have a ton of products just floating around um, everywhere. You guys can't really see but back here I have like loose glitters and pigments and stuff like that and these these kind of things don't expire that easily so I'm gonna leave those alone not even go through them. I'm gonna go through my little brow section this is new like I'm just gonna pull out the things that I just have to even like glance at because there are things I know I don't have to even bother looking at. So I'm gonna look at this this is supposed to be just like a brow pencil I don't have no idea where I got it but it's obviously dried out so that's good to know. 
this old brow gel from like the middle ages that was clear at one point. I obviously have a hard time letting go of things or just don't know how I've overlooked this and all the times I've decluttered my makeup. This is like a good black eyeliner. This is the Scandalize um, Cajole. So I'm gonna keep this as like a backup to my eyeliner when I can't find it, because it does happen. Um, this Ioni lash glue has got to go. So I love Ioni lashes, but this lash glue is such a joke. Like it's so goopy and just bad. Honestly, that drawer is fine, and I've gone through these lipsticks over and over and over again because I wear them pretty regularly, so this is also completely fine, which is good. So actually, this is something else I'm getting rid of. This is a high-end product. This is the Urban Decay Bondage for Glitter Glue, but first of all, this is not the color this is supposed to be, and second of all, this has always, always stung my eyes. A way better alternative for glitter glue is the NYX glitter primer so much better yeah it has like you have to like put it on your hand and then apply it but like even then this brush applicator is too thick anyway like it was always just kind of a bad product but i spent so much money on it um at sephora at the time that i've kept it all these years but i've n literally just it's sitting there i never use it so most of the stuff i'm decluttering is stuff that i literally never use you guys so so moving on to the other side of my desk um i do have this drawer up here but I have, I go through this store pretty regularly and I, I use it pretty frequently. It has like a couple random things, some lashes, but I know what's pretty much here. Um, this has probably got to go actually. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Compact. This is a pressed powder. This is not great. Like I feel like even when I swatch it, like yeah, with my fingers, I feel like product comes off. But like when I'm applying this with a brush, I feel like no product ever comes up and I have so many like all of these are pressed powders that I actually like and use right here and it looks like this because like I even tried using it with a sponge to get a little bit more product pick up from it but it's just not very good and not to say Wet n Wild isn't great Wet n Wild makes amazing products just not that one also if you guys don't have one of these you totally need to get one it I got it off of eBay probably like forever ago and it's kind of like gimmicky the way it looks it hold your lashes when you take them out of the case and then like when I go traveling I'll like take my favorite lashes and like I can have them here. It did have a mirror. I broke that. It's supposed to have a space for your lash glue to fit but my lash glue is too chubby but yeah um I really like this. Just get like a little compact for them. I think it makes sense. All right next up I pretty much am not going to get rid of anything in this drawer. Just put products back that have been like sitting out that need to go back to their homes. This is like blush and highlighter section over here. These are little sample size guys. All products that I 100% want to keep. These are things that were like in my travel makeup bag real quick. And I probably need to take some of them back out and like put them back in that makeup travel bag. But I'm decluttering that bag as of right now. And like clearing it out because I was carrying around a huge bag. I could carry something smaller to have as like backup. Um, realistically, I know that this is overflowing. But I love all these products and they're all good. So it will stay overflowing. We even got some ColourPop in here. I could probably declutter this. But like it's in great condition. And. It's, it's beautiful like it's one of those um like jelly textured um like creamy bronzers I feel like this could be great as an eyeshadow as like a shimmer bronzer topper I really want to try to use this some more so we'll see if I can't use that a little bit more this one I always use when I'm doing like costume makeup this is in the shade flexitarian it, it has like a bluish hue to it because I used it for a mermaid but I use it to like mix in with other colors and I've used it a lot so I love color pop they're great um, I'm not getting rid of anything there and then here in this bottom drawer I also probably won't be getting rid of anything but I just wanted to show it to you guys um, I keep all my larger palettes here and this was on my desk before but I realized my desk was getting cluttered so I cleared out this drawer and moved all all of my setting sprays down here. It also makes it easier while I'm doing makeup to grab from here than to like have to reach really far. I love everything in here so far and I mean like I could probably declutter some of these old Morphe palettes but I have the 305 all shimmer and all matte. This is the all shimmer one and I just feel like this is still too good to just get rid of so I'm gonna continue hanging on to it. Um, this was before Morphe changed all their packaging but that's fine. Um, I still love them. So hang on to everything in here. And that's it basically, you guys. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I got rid of quite a few things, I feel like. Um, but I don't, if, you, if you're like surprised that like I don't have too much makeup, I feel like I don't have that much makeup for somebody who does this. Um, um, and like has a YouTube channel dedicated to makeup. I feel like my collection is pretty contained. And that's because I am somebody who doesn't like to waste. And so if I know that I can't use it and it won't like benefit me, then I don't just go out and like buy heaps and heaps of makeup 
you know, I keep my collection contained. I give stuff away, I throw things away, I, I purge, we need to purge. Um, and I try not to just overly buy, I try to be a smart consumer. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Oh, also, if you enjoyed this makeup look that I have on right now, I will leave all the information on it down below. I actually filmed this look so you can go watch it there.